Hello everyone, Charles here and welcome to my uh, YouTube channel again with this new video and it's been a while. How's everyone been? And uh, yeah, sorry that I haven't been posting anything. It's because um, I haven't really had anything to post in, as of like months. I, I, have, I lost track of how many months it's been since I've last put a video up. But anyways, we're back here because we, I actually have some GoPro footage for real life racing now. Because uh, I'm doing uh, Orlando Kart Center's League of Legends in the rental heavy class. And I'm gonna be doing this for the entire championship. And the best part about this is, is how the championship is structured. You guys won't have to wait long in between the next bit, next race and the next round. And here you're seeing right now is actually round one and round two. And I will basically explain how, how the championship works and just put it in the simplest terms. So basically what's happening right now is a 10 minute qualifying session. You basically have 10 minutes to put in your quality times, basically running clock. The entire session from start of quality to the end of the race is 30 minutes total. You have 10 minutes to do the quality time and then you grid up for the grid up for the race and then however long it takes. So basically if you grid up quicker the more racing you get and yeah it's, that's basically how it works out and there's five classes of that but first before you do that I'm going to explain what's happening right here. For the, so the thing is with the qualifying you have 10 minutes to get your lap time in. However, if you feel like your cart is just no good at all, if you feel like you're just going to be in an awful cart, you can swap your cart out within that 10 minute window, like I am doing right here. Like, because I, I felt my cart was just had no power, I just couldn't, I was getting overtaken by everyone, everyone on the street, so I was like, I may as well swap the cart out, take the gamble. Because you never know, it could, it could be worse, it could be better, but in my case, I felt like you couldn't get any worse than what I had, so I may as well take the gamble. There's no power. And yeah, there is the trap, and then getting back out there, and putting in a quality time, and it was this move right here actually did save me for later on in the race if i didn't if i didn't swap cars i guaranteed i wouldn't have been in a position where i would have been and anyways going back to how the championship works so you basically you 10 minute quality run and then you grid and then it's still a running clock in a total of 30 minutes you um you stay out on track you go out near near the grid not really right right on it you go kind of like two corners before it Basically get out of the way and then we line up everybody based on the, their quality times and we, and we grid it up like that and once that grid start they do a uh, five red lights and you're all good to go and the race is going until 30 minutes of the lap is total and with that um, as you guys can see right here actually the um, as you can see it's actually multiple classes you actually see their actual race cards out there there's there's uh, two different kinds of cards out uh, three different cards out there sorry that are out there at the moment uh, there's two different weight classes per part so you have the speedies which are i'm pretty sure the dx 70s or 270 engines i could be very wrong on that don't look correctly for that one if i'm wrong and then you have the 206 class and each of those have a heavy and light and the difference is i'm pretty sure it's just the driver has to be on either 185 pounds or heavier for the heavy or 185 pounds or lighter or under 185 pounds for light class and the same thing goes for the 206 class which is a um, basically for all you Europeans it's basically the entry level engine for go-karting in America it's just how it's just what we use it's the cheapest and economical it's basically an entry level it's very low maintenance it's all good very fun just fun to get get your hands on and it's good anyway next you have obviously the rentals and the rentals have a heavy class and the rentals have a, a light class as well so does 206 as i did i'm not sure if i did that before and it's the same rule set basically 185 pounds or heavier is the heavy class and lighter than 185 pounds the light class could be it could be the ruling for the, the um the actual race cards maybe a little different might be total weight or whatever because they're significant their parts are significantly lighter than the rentals because the rentals weigh about 500 pounds just the cart alone while the driver and cart will probably weigh around close to 300 pounds <laughs> for the um for the race carts yeah we're getting here we're getting grid up and um just getting all that sorted and i'm basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut, basically not cut to the race but i'm gonna basically just have the race uncommentated and i'm just gonna say it was a blast racing here again. It's been a long. It has been a long time coming. I've been meaning to come back out here for their for their league nights. It's actually a lot of fun. And the fact that I can record it for you guys too makes it even better. And it's it's just an extra plus. And with that said, this is actually the second round of the championship. I actually was gonna record the first round as well, but I uh, and uh, my uh, battery wasn't placed in properly into my GoPro, so it was just like every time I tried to turn it on, it just wouldn't turn on. So you guys are skipping out on the first race, so I'll just say how the first race went. The first race 
had an insanely fast car with straight line speed, and I actually ended up winning in the heavy class, because that's the class that I'm in, and it was, it was only by like one second. I didn't even realize the guy was behind me by like one second. Because the problem with the heavy and light classes for the rentals is that it's it's kind of hard to tell who's in your... You can kind of tell based on somebody's, you know, proportions, but that's about it. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let the race, the list race play out for you guys. And I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. You guys know the drill. It's all YouTube classic stuff. And I'll see you guys a little later when the race ends. I might commentate a little bit after.
That was good. That was good. Dude, that was awesome. <laughs>